Hello, I'm Stan. I'd like to show you how to use the EQS2 software for taking off POQ preparation and material estimation for a uh, one bedroom bungalow in less than one hour. Yes, you can do all these three things the taking off the POQ, the material estimation in less than one hour. Uh, this is the drawing we'll be working with, and uh, this is the floor, the, this is the site plan. This is the ground floor plan, this is the roof plan, the section, the front elevation, the back elevation, the right elevation, and then the window, and the schedule. So in working with this plan with the EQS software, there are some parameters that the user needs to derive first. And these are the parameters that needs to be derived for the foundation. Uh, and uh, most of these parameters don't need calculations to to be gotten, like the ones down here. Uh, th these are the ones that needs some calculations, like the site area. You need some calculation to get that the ground floor area the external perimeter the trench guard the wall guard once you're done with this the other ones are data you can read directly from the drawing like the foundation wall height the column base dimension like we have uh, from the floor plan we have only one type of uh column base pt1 it's uh this is the dimension 1.2 by 1 meter and the column is only one column we have 0 0.23 by 0 0.23 meters the column pit depth it's uh gotten from the foundation drawings 1.2 meter the foundation depth 0 0.9 meters the hardcore thickness 0 0.3 meters the laterite filling thickness 0 0.45 meters the slab thickness and other all these are the the slab thickness 0 0.25 meters the column base reinforcement it's a uh, y12 at 0 0.175 meters center to center the starter bar height is two meters the column foundation height is 0 0.9 meters so uh from the site plan as you can see we the site area is 450 square meters when you multiply 30 by 15 meters the ground floor area is uh 61.2 meters that would be, that's gotten from the floor plan the external perimeter is this that's 2.68 meters the trench guard is 52.1 meter the wall guard is 53.3 meters foundation wall height is 0 0.67 meters once you've gotten all this we start with uh taking off it's actually inputting of of these parameters in the software and the software does taking off it's loading uh, we reduce this to have a wider workspace and we're gonna open both side by side this actually notepad So let's give you a description. Let's say one bedroom flat. The site area is this four fifty square meters. The external perimeter is this thirty two. 0.68 meters the ground floor area is 61.2 meters the top soil depth is 0 0.15 meters the oversight slab thickness is 0 0.15 meters the laterite filling is 0 0.45 meters. 
the rock hard core is from here as you can see is 0 0.3 meters the trench guards from the analysis is 52.1 meters the wall guard from the analysis is 53.3 meters foundation wall thickness is 9 inches that's 0 0.23 meters everything is in is inserted in meters in the software just like you do doing while uh, inserting figures during taking off and taking off sheet the foundation wall height is 0 0.67 meters trench width is 0 0.69 meters that we already know the trench depth from the analysis is 0 0.9 meters uh, we don't have blinding in this case in the trench so we leave this blank oh yeah put zero whatever case let's just put zero the footing trench footing is 0 0.23 meters we leave oh we don't need a trench area or trench area length here yeah, it's uh when you use a uh, plan swift or any other measuring software for uh, measuring your your guts that's where you you can get this but since we have our trench guards already measured we don't need this so you leave this to blank so you you move to the block plastering height this is talking about the height of the block you plaster in the foundation let's take uh two blocks that's a 0 0.45 plastering two blocks in the substructure then the number of work is one because it's just one project so after this we select the next tab which is uh, the column based details click and wait as it loads yeah uh, in the drawing we have a singular type of column base bt1 the dimension is 1.2 by 1 meter and it's uh, the bar arrangement is bottom only from this drop down you can select whether the bar arrangement is top and bottom and bottom only so you put the, the description here bt1 and then it's um this is the dimension the column base length is 1.2 meters the breadth is one meter the number of column base is one then the bar column base bar diameter from here we can see is y12 at 0 0.75 meter spacing y12 spacing put 0 0.175 the next is uh the bend 0 0.1 meter for the bend the column pit depth is 1.2 meters from the analysis the blinding is 0 0.05 meter that's 50 mm the column base concrete thickness is 0 0.3 meters the column base concrete cover 25 mm that's 0 0.025 meters since we have one type of column we just leave this done so assuming we have a, a, a another type of column bt2 you write the bt2 here and then you select this two then you fill in the, the the data or details for the bt2 but in this case we have a single type of column even if you have 100 types of column you can fill them there's provision for that the next on the tab bar is ground beam and for this drawing we don't have ground beam so we move to regular column details in substructure select and wait as it loads yeah it's open uh first thing is um to write a description it's 
the join has only one type of column so right column one and select either attached or isolated for this case the column is isolated now another thing about this software it uh, gives you allowance for determining some factors it's not it's not strict but next so here you write the column length 0 0.23 the column breadth is 0 0.23 the number of column is one the number of bars in the column is four the column bar diameter from the drawings y12 the star of diameter is y8 the star up length you can use this eqs star up calculator you click this this window pops up you select regular shaped star up you see it's asking for column length and breadth but if it's a round shaped star up it will ask you for column diameter so let's select regular shaped star up then here we put the column length which is on 0 0.23 by 0 0.23 the concrete cover is 0 0.025 that's 25 mm the lapse is uh, 0 0.15 as you mean 75 plus 75 mm that's 0 0.15 so this is the when you click this it gives you the results of the star up lines you copy the results and put it here then you proceed the spacing of the star up is 0 0.2 meters then this is asking for the column in foundation height from here is uh, 0 0.9 meters that's column starter height from a top column base 0 0.9 meters and the starter bar length as you can see here is 2 meters then the column base thickness is 0 0.3 meters then the adjoining wall thickness we leave this blank this is only needed when you have uh, when you have attached column but it's not attached you see immediately we put this all the results are showing we have a uh, one type of column that's why we are going to, going to stop here the next on the tab is round column details we don't have a uh, Round column in this case, so we move to beam details in superstructure. From the drawing, we have only one beam at the entrance, then we have another beam connecting the two walls in the dining from the living room to the dining. So the first beam length is uh, four meters, but it's a uh, it has projection into the walls by by both sides. So the projection is 0 0.46, 0 0.46. That's 0 0.92. So when you have four meters plus 0 0.46 plus 0.46. sorry it's a mistake four meters plus 0 0.46 then plus 0 0.46 that's 4.92 meters so that's the length of the beam as you can see all these results are showing zero 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 but when we fill the the details here yeah. you see some results there so the, the beam width is 0 0.23 the beam depth is 0 0.3 meters the beam length as we have here is 4.92 meters say 
0.92 meters. The number of beam is 1. The beam bar length. Let's add bend of uh, 0 0.2 to this. So the beam bar length is 5.12 meters. 5.12 meters. Then the number of bars in the beam, 4. Then the beam bar diameter is Y12. Then we can also use this calculator to calculate the the beam stirrup length. So the beam start the beam is 0 0.3 by 0 0.23. So this is the length of the stirrup. That's 1.01 meters. Stirrup bar diameter is by 12. Stirrup spacing is 0 0.2. This is asking for a joining wall thickness. It's an isolated beam, so we leave that. Let me check. I'll change this to isolated. See, now you can see some results here. Gives you the beam concrete, beam formwork reinforcement in meter in kg in tons, stirrup in meter in kg in tons. So, having done this, we we'll proceed to. The regular column details in sub in superstructure. Click this. It's loading. Yes. So we also have a single type of column from this section. The height. The story height of the building is 3 meters. So we'll go back to the drawing, to the software. Give it a description of column 1. Then we'll change this to isolated. Then the column length is actually 0.23 by 0.23. The number of column is 1. The number of bars in the column is 4. The column bar diameter is Y12. Stirrup diameter is Y8. Then the column stirrup length. We use the stirrup calculator. Change it to 0 0.23 by 0 0.23. This is the concrete cover. This is the lab. So this is the column stirrup length 0 0.87. Let me just copy this and paste here. Yeah, it's faster that way than typing it again. Then the spacing is 0 0.2, the column height is 3 meters. But if you check the drawing, I think the story height stops here, 3 meters, and there's a projection of um, 300 mm inside the ceiling so that tells you that the, the column is actually 3.3 .3 meters then the bar length should be 3.3 .3 plus a bend of 0 0.1 that's 3.4 meters you leave this blank this adjoining wall since it's not an isolated column so the next is a uh, round column we don't have any round column in the drawing the next after round column is upper floors we don't have upper floors so let's quickly move to roof which is the next click roof and uh, this is the roof plan it's uh, a heap roof design uh, We need to get these uh, parameters for the roof. Just this. You don't need to do any calculation. With this, in less than in five minutes max, five minutes, we're done with this hip roof. Once you get the building length, which is already in, in the drawing, it's already on the drawing, the building breadth, the roof length, the roof breadth. The roof length is uh, you add. 0 0.6 plus 10.5 plus 0 0.6 then the roof breadth 
5.775 plus 0.6 plus 0.6 the, the ridge length is on the plan 4.725 this is it the roof height is from the section 2.5 as you can see all this data are read from the drawing you don't need any tedious calculations to get that done so let's quickly input them in the software so we are going to select type of proof which is uh you see we have a uh, three options cable with link to and then he proof so let's select he proof even if the roof is a complex roof design there's another part which we can trade up but for now this is what we have and this is what we should focus on so here you select if it's a vertical strut only he proof or vertical diagonal i think we should select vertical diagonal so after that we start filling the parameters the first is on the building length which is 10.5 meters let's quickly do that 10.5 the building breadth is 5.78 approximately then the roof beam cuts it's uh 31.63 meters 31.63 meters the roof length is 11.7 meters the roof breadth is 6.98 meters approximately the roof height is 2.5 meters the ridge length is uh 4.73 meters 4.73 meters the tie beam spacing from the section is 1.2 meters the rafter from the section is 1.2 line from the section is 0 0.9 the tie spacing is 1.2 then the concrete cover is 0 0.025 that's 25 mm the roof beam width is 0 0.23 roof beam thickness is 0 0.23 then the roof beam bar length since the roof beam is 31.63 the roof beam bar length is 35.63 then the number of bars in the roof beam is 4 the roof beam bar diameter is Y12. The style length is similar to the column since it's 0 0.23 by 0 0.23. So, style length, as we have here, I think we've done something similar, 0 0.87. So, the spacing is 0 0.2. Style bar diameter is Y8 then the wall got parapet wall we don't have parapet wall in the drawing so let's leave all this blank in this case we have only one roof if you navigate to the result part you see everything is showing zero but when you put uh, the number of roof as one then you see the results and I'll show you some values and all these results are transferred to the BOQ we don't have uh, we don't have roof gutter so we leave all this to be blank so let's move to staircase oh we don't have staircase in this case uh, from staircase the next is wall details here we'll be looking at the external wall and internal wall for this plan the wall guard which uh, is gotten from from the ground floor plan from from the analysis we have the external wall guard is 30.71 meters the internal wall guard is 22.59 meters and you also select the type of lintel whether it's chain lintel which is the one that goes around the building or separated lintel so uh, let's give it a description to be wall details from here we have uh, external 
work at 30.71 meters the internal work at 22.59 meters the wall thickness is from the plan is 9 inches that's 0 0.23 meters then the wall height from our section the wall height is actually 3.3 meters because we have 3 meters here then there's another projection of 0 0.3 meters so the wall height is at 3.3 meters the number of work is 1 then the t's the t's number of t's from the plan floor plan i think we have 1 2 3 4 five six seven seven in the external eight nine ten eleven twelve we have twelve t junctions put twelve then we have zero cross so the lintel thickness is zero point two three the projection is uh, zero point four six although it's chain lintel so we don't really need this projection the length number of uh, bars in the lintel is 4 then the concrete cover is 0 0.025 that's 25 mm the bend is 0 0.1 bar bend the lintel bar diameter is y12 the lintel stirrup length since 0 0.23 by 0 0.23 it's, it's going to have similar stirrup as this which is 0 0.87 so we put 0 0.87 here then the next is uh the lintel star up spacing 0 0.2 meters star up bar diameter is y8 so we move to the next which is uh the openings the openings we start with the external windows from the windows and door shadows the, the windows we have window one window two window two and these are the dimension so we've done the analysis here in the external windows these are the dimensions and these are the numbers we start with window one we write the description here window one window two window three oops what am i doing window one first down window two and below is window 3 so window 1 is 1.5 by 1.2 meters 1.5 by 1.2 the number is two numbers then window 2 is 1.2 by 1.2 meters the number is five numbers window 3 is 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 meters the number is three oh you, you leave this these are in this area is when you have an irregular shaped uh, window so that's why you, you need error so we don't have internal windows in this drawing so let's move to external doors and then the external doors we have from the from the floor plan as you can see we have two external doors door one at, at the entrance and door two at the kitchen side so these are the details start with door one door one then door two door one is 1.2 by 2.1 meters the number of doors is one why door two is 0 0.9 by 2.1 meters the number is one we leave this area blank it's not uh, an irregular shaped opening so the next is our uh, internal doors internal doors we have two types of internal doors we have door two and door three and these are the dimensions and the numbers let's confirm them you see we have door two here at the kitchen door two at the lobby then we have door two at the toilet so internal doors you write dot two then down you write dot three then the width 
of dot 2 is 0 0.9 by 2.1 the number of dot 2 is two numbers then dot 3 is 0 0.8 by 2.1 the number is 1 but you know the external openings we didn't put uh, the linter details because we selected a uh, chain linter but the internal openings they need linter so let's put uh we leave this area options out of it because they are not uh, an irregular shaped opening so let's start with uh, putting the internal lintel details for door 2 which is the lintel width is 0 0.23 the lintel thickness is 0 0.23 the lintel one side projection is 0 0.46 the software does the multiplication for for the two sides so put for one side then the number of bars in the lintel is 4 concrete cover is 0 0.025 that's 25 mm then the bend the lintel bar bend is 0 0.1 meters the lintel bar diameter is y12 the lintel bar length stirrup length is 0 0.87 as you have yeah we've done that severally so let's keep going star spacing 0 0.2 star bar diameter is y8 yeah then you see we have uh, the internal door opening for door 2 but the linter data are showing us 0 0 0 because we've not filling uh, the linter Details. so we can copy this copy yeah copy to this point then hover your mouse to this edge click and drag down then because they have similar details for window for door 203 see now we have our uh, details for the lintel we have for the opening the wavy lines the formwork, the concrete, the, the linter bar, in meter, in kg, in tone, same for the stirrups, as you can see. So, external arc, we actually have uh, the entrance arc. We take it as, um, okay, let's check out the elevation, the front elevation. It's on 2, and uh, the height is 2.6. And then 2.6 by 1.88. The length is 1.88, the height is 2.6. 1.88, let me change this to 2.6. 2.6. So it's actually two, not one. It's one point, approximately one point eight nine. Yeah. Then the next is uh, we have uh, from here. Oh, these are uh, these antenna. Uh, let me undo it. We'll get back to that let's quickly correct this this is uh 1.88 by 2.6 then it's uh two numbers that's the only external arc that we have so we could call it external arc and the width is one point it's approximately 1.89 by 2.6 two numbers you leave all this out since it's a it's an, it's an external opening doesn't need uh, the lintel details of taking care of that so let's 
click um, the internal arc so let's go back to the plan from the floor plan let's make correction to, to this we have two internal arcs there's one from the living room to the dining there's another from the living room to the lobby from the living room to the dining is 1.8 then by 2.3 then the next is 1.46 by 2.2 that's from the lobby to the dining so the internal arc we have a uh, we have internal arc one and internal arc two The width for the internal arc one is 1.88, approximately 1.88, because 1.875 by 2.3. The number is the number is one. Let's change this to one. Then the internal arc two is one point four six by two point three the number is also one so let's fill the lintel details since it's internal zero point two three by zero point two three the projection is zero point four six the lintel bar numbers is four the lintel concrete cover is zero point zero two five twenty five mm the lintel bar burn is 0 0.1 the lintel bar diameter is y12 the lintel star point is 0 0.87 we've done that severally then the star up spacing is 0 0.2 star up bar diameter is y8 so we have details for this the internal arc 1 but internal arc 2 only have for the reveal and the the opening area the others are showing zero so let's copy this since they have a uh, similar lintel specifications so we'll copy the specification for internal arc one then we use same for internal arc two then you see now we have our uh, details for the lintel but both internal arc one and internal arc two having done this uh we are done with all the openings for this project we don't have other openings so let's click results it's loading then after results you click boq loading yes you see in a very short while less than an hour it's now up to 30 minutes in less than 30 minutes we've done we are done with our boq for this project this one bedroom with living living room bedroom kitchen toilet dining we're done with all everything from substructure the ground substructure the frames columns beams roof openings let's check the this is the bill for the sun and price bill for the for the substructure we have the site clearance excavation for topsoil trench excavation pit excavation let's work support for both pits and trench disposal level and compacting and stamite and all everything see then move down to the concrete work we have column starter you see ground beam is showing zero because we don't have ground beam oversight bed and every other thing let's go down so it's a, it's a complete build this is the reinforcement 
for both colour and what have you then the block working foundation block work thirty seven point seven one square meters painting and plastering substructure then we have concrete for columns con concrete for columns concrete for beams we have form works reinforcements for beams reinforcement for columns in caging then the the link side for both columns and beams we have upper floor so that's why that is blank then this is for the roof concrete work for roof concrete for more reinforcement then these are the carcassing starting from the wall plates to the pole lines we have tasking poles and every other thing then the roof covering 100.47 square meter the the hip caps these are the hip caps these four thick lines software does everything in the roof now staircase will move to uh, external walls this concrete work for the external walls form work reinforcements lintel then the block wall itself an external wall software has done all the deductions from using all the the details we filled when we are putting the external doors external windows and external arc it does everything then these are for the internal walls concrete work concrete form work reinforcement and then the block wall for internal wall then these are finishings starting with some plastering of reveals these are plastering for reveals then plastering of uh, block wall internally plastering of block wall externally plastering of isolated column and beams and these are the painting uh, you see it's actually uh, an almost complete bill excluding um, the only thing does not have it's electrical and mechanical because according to BSM for most of what you do there now is counting we focus more on the tedious aspects in BOQ preparation that's why we we didn't uh, include um, electrical and uh, mechanical but you can actually edit the the bill and add those you can export to excel as you can see here uh, export to excel and you edit then you print so this is the material estimates the material should do for the project it prepares the material should do simultaneously as it prepares the boq as you can see these are the number of troops you need for laterite, number of troops for rock, number of liters for stamide, number of rows for DPM. Then these are for the concrete work. Starting with the cement, classifies all the cements you need. For blinding, you need up to one bag, 0.2 bag. Uh, these two are seen as uh, in concrete, blinding and foundation footing, and you can edit the mix ratio of that here everything is adjustable we use uh, a default of 136 shrinkage at 5 percent for for plain institute concrete why the other ones down started from columbus concrete down to um to here yeah, to stack concrete we use um reinforced institute concrete and the default is one to four you can edit and the results will be updated there yeah. so these are the materials you need all the cements you need for the work cements for oversized concrete you need 50.9 bar approximately 51 bags see for beams for columns for roof beam external wall even the plastering tells you how many bags of cement you need for plastering for substructure plastering of external wall plastering of weave plastering of internal wall then these are the sand you need you see it's sand all in 10 tires and you can edit the tipper volume of uh 10 tires tipper right here yeah this is it you can edit that then down is a uh, coarse aggregate gravel and after that you see all the materials you need 
formwork and planks and then roof and then reinforcement block how many number of blocks you need in substructure in, in the superstructure external one internal what number of drums of paint you need it's it also gives you a kind of mini summary of uh, um, summary of cement sharp sand and plastic sand for the whole project you need a total of 153.7 my present 154 bags of cement 0 0.7 troops of sharp sand 0 0.2 troops of plastic sand and 1.5 troops of gravel so it's actually a complete bill and complete uh, material should do so i'd like you guys to get a copy of uh, eqs2 software it makes your work easier and fast there are a lot of things you can do with software uh you guys should graduate from being a non-analog quantity software to a digital quantity software with eqs2 software good digital thank you